namo namaha friends welcome to or welcome back to my channel today i wanted to play a fun book tag game called re read re write and burn i have given the video link of the original creators of the tag in the description box below so please do check it out if you would like to basically in this bookish game we write the names of our favorite books in a few pieces of paper and pick three chits at a time of the three books we must decide which book we would like to reread rewrite or burn now in my culture we revere books a lot so much so that we worship them during navratri hence the thought of burning a book even if it's only in a game makes me very uncomfortable so at the cost of sounding ridiculously literal i'm going ahead and replacing the word burn with written so the game is simple enough we pick three names at a time and each of the book must either be tagged and reread rewrite or written by so ready for the bookish game i have taken a cup and have filled it with all of my favorite book names i have given the reviews of some of them in the description box down below most of them are five star books but some of them are four stars but all of these are books that i have adored at some point in time so it will be very hard choosing between them okay ready so first one and every morning the way home gets longer and longer by fredrick buckman second why i assassinated mahatma gandhi by nathuram godse the book of m by pank shepherd <laughs> okay this is hard i gave all of these books five stars and have given extensive reviews on all three of them which one should i choose <laughs> okay let me try um, and every morning the way home gets longer and longer by frederick buckman was flawless i cannot even think of rewriting it or returning it so i'm putting it in the the reread pile why i assassinated mahatma gandhi uh, is a non fiction and is the sensational letter written by nathuram godse on why he killed mahatma gandhi this book blew my mind and i literally have no complaints against it but because i don't want to read it maybe i should attempt to get it read it in the book does give a brief background of the happenings of that time but maybe it could have had more about gandhi especially his actions that seriously harmed the hindu consciousness and confidence of this country why assassinated mahatma gandhi i think could definitely be improved upon the book of m though i adored it i will have to return it as i absolutely have no other choice i miss you gajendra round 2 sight by neel chushtaman avarana by sl bairappa the unhoneymooners by christina lauren okay this one's easy The Unhoneymooners is a contemporary romantic comedy kind of a book so I can return that Sight has to be in reread because the concept was unique and it was one of the best YA sci-fi I have ever read Avarna by SL Bairappa is a classic work translated from Kannada to English an amazing hard hitting fiction inspired by very real historic events When I was shocked by the eye opening events from the Islamic invasion times of India I was not as impressed by the fictional story running through this book it was unrealistic and bland I also would have preferred a better and impressionable ending so yeah avarna under rewrite so there we have it on to the next round round 3 cinder by marisa mayer Half a King by Joe Abercrombie. I got lots of chits. Grand Sophie by Georgette Hare. This is another tough one. Hmm. Cinder, a science fiction YA fantasy retelling of the Cinderella story. I adored it. 
raved about it every chance I got while I was reading it. It also helped me through a rough patch in life, hence I have sentimental attachments to it. Hopper King, while it was very good, it's also YA, and I honestly did not understand the hype for it. I have been told that Joe Abercrombie is the king of grim dark. and that his adult fiction is the way to go so this year i have plans of reading his first law trilogy so let's put this in rewrite though what should be rewritten i have no clue grand sophie written cuz though i enjoyed it a lot at that time i frankly don't remember much of it now so let me turn the proverb around and say out of mind out of sight so return it that leaves my favorite sender in the rewrite but Yay. Okay. So round 4. Nine Train by Jen Williams. Night by Ellie Wiesel. Wonder by RJ Palacio. Are you kidding me? I love all three of them. How do I even choose? Okay, let me take a deep breath, calm down and think again. The Nine Train without a doubt into the reread pile because I'm planning to complete the entire Winnowing Flame trilogy this year. Night and Wonder. Mm. Night is a gut-wrenching Holocaust non-fiction. Obviously there is no scope for a rewrite, so I have to return it. That lives Wonder by RJ Palacio, a middle grade book about a boy with severe facial disfiguration due to birth defects. This is also a real life inspired story and was so heartwarming and beautiful that not only did I read this book but I bought it for my kids and we also watched the movie adaptation of it. I'm not sure how this book can be rewritten but I am putting it in the rewrite pile for lack of a better choice. On to round number 5. Ooh. The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Devotion of Suspect X by Kego Higashino Lock Every Door by Riley Sager Okay So lock every door into the return pile because though I liked the book while I read it it was not a very memorable or life changing read I don't mind returning it The Lord of the Rings is a classic and honestly how can you tinker with perfection So it has to be in reread This is one of the few books that I actually read. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of rereading. There are so many new books to read that I can't be bothered with rereads. But Lord of the Rings is a solid exception to that rule. That leaves the Devotion of the Spectres, which is a translated novel from Japanese to English. It's one of the best murder mysteries I have ever read, and for the life of me, I cannot tell what should be changed in this book. Maybe the pacing of this could be changed. This book does read a bit slow, almost like the slice of time animes that we see. So, Devotion of Suspect X in rewrite. I think we should do two more and call it a day. Yeah? Mo Dao Zushi or Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation by Mo Xiang Tongshu. Melis by Kego Higashino. Legend by Mary Liu. This seems to be an Asian dominated round. Legend is the first book in the YA sci-fi series. It was good, but the other two choices in this round are better. Hence this shall be returned. Melis and Modao Zushi. Hmm. Both are my absolute favorites. I read about Melis, which is again a Japanese murder mystery by Kiko in my blog, and Modao Zushi is a Chinese wuxian fantasy novel by Mokshian, which strictly doesn't have an official English translation. So I read it in a blog run by voluntary translators. But this was a superlative read, one that I loved from all my heart and was obsessed with for a time. I can hear no slander against Modao Zushi period. So, Modao Zushi in reread pile and Melis in the rewrite pile. Let's do the last one. Round number 7. The Night Swim by Megan Golden. The Hating Game by Sally Thorn and Recursion by Blake Crouch. Night Swim is one of the last books I read in December 2020. and it became one of my all time favorites 
This book comes with loads of trigger warnings and is a very difficult read. It deals with rape and rape victims, but it's told in such a sensitive and amazing way that I couldn't find a single fault with it. It has to go into the read read file. Now, the hating game and recursion. Hmm. Recursion is a very popular sci-fi novel and hating game is an equally popular romance novel. I gave them both four stars. I am putting recursion in the return pile and the hating game and rewrite because honestly from an enjoyment standpoint I enjoyed the hating game more than recursion. That's a wrap on the book tag game guys. I hope you had as much fun listening to me play as much as I had playing it. I'm not tagging anybody specifically this time around but I would encourage you to play this game and have lots of fun. If push comes to shove, which of your favorite books would you read it, rewrite and return a burn? Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you would like to see more bookish content from me, then please don't forget to like my videos, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. Looking forward to share more of my bookish thoughts with you. Let's keep the bookish conversation going. Until next time, stay safe and healthy. Om Shanti.